All right, this is to Joe Vegan, who has started a, what is to me a very familiar old conversation about telling me what metaphysics means. Well, it's a complicated old term with a lot of history. It's got etymology. Uh, it comes from the title of Aristotle's works that Aristotle didn't even create, some editor created. I'll put the link below to the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, which you should all be familiar with. That is the best source for any of these things online that I've seen. Though I should probably do a search again. It's been a few years, you know, who knows, maybe Oxford uh, has theirs online. I don't know. But uh, it's definitely a good resource. Now, the thing about metaphysics is, um, you know, first of all, I'm always told, oh, I just think about it like the woo-woo stuff. No, I got my idea of metaphysics from philosophy. I got my dislike and almost hatred for it from reading Nietzsche and my own thought process during that. All right, I, I have a philosophical idea. Now, I do tend to take it as stuff that's held to be beyond physics, but there's, there's other interpretations of that, right? But it doesn't really matter, because at the very least, metaphysics has to do with the unchanging principles, the things that will always be true. Even if you justified them physically, there's a finality to them. Things like the principle of causation are taken to be this way. Like, you have to believe that. It has to be true for you to do anything else. You can believe it because it has to be true. But I, I don't think that's how it works. The idea of, our idea of causation is just a theory. And eventually we come to this point of wondering, wait, is causation really like we think? Is it one thing touching another or what? And I basically it's broken down. Now, I currently believe in the law of the conservation and conservation of energy and matter. You don't, you know, things transform. They don't disappear and appear. And I believe that like, like it was a religious faith, almost. Except, I don't take it as a metaphysic, as a metaphysics, as an unchanging thing that'll have to always be true. It is still just a theory. Now, I am not evolved or enlightened enough to question that theory in the way that I know it will eventually be questioned. And the law of conservation will be re-understood. I suspect there'll be a phenomena there still, right? Being captured by the new principle. But the new principle will capture it better. So the idea of conservation of energy can't be a metaphysic. Now, there's things that we have. There's concepts. But see, I don't believe you need a conceptual structure per se to start thinking. You just need a brain. Now, the brain may have some conceptual structures built in. And in that sense... Maybe it has to have some, and so in that sense you have to have some, but they are not inherently true. They would be assumed because of synthetic reasons generating their assumption, not because they're metaphysic. They're metaphysical, or metaphysics, and can never change, and have to be true, and are somehow, you know, principles beyond the study of physics. Now to me, the, thinking of metaphysics as an unchanging thing puts it beyond physics. You don't need to study it with physics. Okay. But even if you say, well, it, you know, it, they will be justified physically, it's still a question of, well, you have them. They're never going to change. So they're not subject to the study, to the scientific process. So it's having your cake and eating it too. Now, I make these judgments of what metaphysics means to me and what value I think that it isn't. Okay, the damaging nature of people thinking of metaphysics all the time. I make that as an informed decision. Now, you can disagree with me or want or, or whatever, but I make that as an informed decision. Okay, I think it is a noxious influence, and the, the, the sum of the few definitions of metaphysics that you know could be used is this big and people's use of metaphysics in and out of theology everywhere is, is huge this little tiny grain of truth uh, of, of that you have to uh, that you have to take principles as true to reason from them is not enough for that you see because you can take them conditionally as true you don't have to take them as metaphysically true to do that process right? Now, I have admitted before that you could call my basic philosophy of metaphysics my perceptualism, but it's not, to me, 
necessary to see it that way. Why? Because perceptualism is a base empiricism. It's empirically describable. It, it is experience based. That I'm having the perceptions is how I base that, not on a definition of a necessary condition of the universe must have this and there's, it's happening. No, it's based on I open my eyes or I feel my own skin and I'm getting perceptions. And though there's preconditions to that, you know, concepts of perception or something, they're synthetic physical preconditions. They are not metaphysical, unchanging truths. Okay? So, I, I disagree with the concept of metaphysics because of this basic thing that I don't believe there are unchanging truths. I don't believe there are any pure truths. I think so there is a little bit of mistake in everything. And that is not what metaphysics has ever been used to describe it's been used to describe these more pure supposedly idea you know concepts as forms as material things existing outside the human mind I believe in the embodied mind and I'm not alone and having this distaste for metaphysics and even if I were it wouldn't matter to me okay I was educated to be informed about the situation not to become an encyclopedia of it but to judge it myself and to make my own philosophy around what I have learned. So that's just how that's going to be. You can talk to me about metaphysics, Joe, and you can read the Stanford uh, Encyclopedia, Encyclopedia of Philosophy and we could discuss the definition. But this this whole idea that I'm just totally misunderstanding it because if you understood it you would agree with what you were told well I mean uh, maybe you're not exposed enough to it I was told a lot of things and was able to judge what I was told and get good grades and judge it for myself okay so the good grades meant I was able to regurgitate the facts and ideas they wanted me to learn and I was also able to form my own ideas on those facts. All right. Cheers.